In this tutorial I wanted to show how to set up and create these visualization of the solar radiation on the exterior building surfaces or facades as shown in this example. Just to briefly summarize what I'm doing, I'm taking these images from the Versailles simulation and set up this in Revit on some drafting views. So I will walk through this process of doing this. Here I am in Versailles for creating these simulation of the solar radiation. I go to analyze and activate the solar radiation and then select those surfaces I want to simulate. For this I have some tips and tricks shown in a other video to do that. But one of the most important tips is this small surface that create the maximum and the minimum of the simulation. And this I have shown in another video on how and why I do that. So when I've selected all the surfaces I want to simulate, I see finish selecting here and typically I take the highest resolution to get the best quality of the simulations. And then choosing the right units and the type of data. And for these visualization, I have created specific styles for these legends and color scales. And this is also explained in other videos. So next step is to just close that one and find out in which direction I want to take these views from. And specific for these kind of simulation, I have some specific tips. I prefer to have shown the silhouettes giving a strong line weight for the edges of the 3D model. And you do that by going to manage and click on this small arrow here at graphics and selecting white lines for these silhouettes. Then I get these thick lines. Further, I select a high scale to have these lines more thick so I can see them in the export image. So for example, 2000 in this case. And some tips about the orientation. Because of it's not possible to save a specific uh, section of the view you want to see, you could do some other stuff. You could have a surface like this one. This is the side area and use this for maximizing the view around. So if I have this selected, I can select on the view cube, for example in this direction of the view cube, then it will maximize the view around this selected object. Of course you could lock the view down here at this uh, lock function, but this doesn't save how much of the view I have zoomed into. So this just saves the orientation so I cannot shift the orientation. So this is not that helpful. So this trick is more helpful for this kind of stuff that selecting it and select the orientation you want to see. So typically I use this direction, the southeast direction and the opposite, this northwest, because then I can see all the surfaces of these mass objects. Because when you want to compare, it's very important that you have the same orientation and the same zoom of your image, or else it's not possible to compare these visually. That's why I'm using this method. So when I have the right zoomed in, I go to the Versailles icon, go to export, saying images and animation, image. This one I doesn't have to take notice of in this case. In here you can specify different stuff. So one of the most important that is selecting this one, saying the visible portion of the current window. If I just have this one, then it will maximize the view so I get the whole model. But I only want to have this shown in this window frame. So this one, and then I want to change the name by going here. And then it's very important to give them logical names so they are easy to find again and know what it is. For example, in this case, it is the option one. So I will call this for solar radiation, option one, winter, if it's the winter season I'm looking at, and the northeast direction. So save. Back here on the export image dialog box, then I choose a very high resolution, for example, 4000 pixels. And in this case, I've chosen the horizontal, so the image will be 4000 pixel in this direction. And then just choose the JPEG file format, that's OK in this case. And then press OK, then it will save the image. Back in Revit, I create a new drafting view, giving a logical name. 
for example, option, in this case 1, and what it is, solar radiation, and it's the summer of the orientation of north east. And then it's easier to control the size of the image if I want to have another scale at a certain point, to have it as the same as the other ones I have created early on of the top views. So 1500 in this case, and then OK. Then we have a totally blank drafting view where I at first just import the image and then scale it afterward, going to insert image, browsing to the right folder and select the right file I want to import and say open and then just place the image at first as you can see here it's quite big now but that's okay and then go back to the sheet where I want to drag this new drafting onto so finding it so finding it in the project browser and drag it onto the sheet first I remove the title bar going to properties and say no title because I don't want to have that one and then move it roughly onto the right place because I want to scale it down so it fits to the analysis frame I have created earlier on and shown in a other video. Selecting it, saying activate view, so now I'm on the drafting view level. In here I can scale the image again now that I have an underlay of the analysis frame on the sheet. So I know the height is 100 millimeters, so I could say the height of this image should be 100 multiplied with the scale and when I've selected it I can change the height of the image and lock the proportion and type 150,000 in then it will be in the right height that I want to have. So now the image is the, in the right height. Then I create some reference planes so I have something to snap at and also to have some guides. Selecting ref plane, taking from the endpoint of the image to the bottom endpoint like this. In this case the width of the image is not correct and in typical you don't have that. So so I could copy this one in this direction saying copy and I know the distance should be 255,000 when it have this scale and distance on the sheet level like this. So now I can use these reference plane for snapping on the sheet. Right click and say deactivate view, select the drafting just created and by using the move I can snap to the reference plane and place it as I want to have it like this. And the last tip is that when you want to put the other ones in you can copy that one you just created and use the reference planes as I will show here. Right click on that one just created and say duplicate with detailing. That's very important. If you don't do that it will not duplicate the reference planes. And then we can easily just remove this one and then import a new one by going to insert, image, select the file you want to use for this drafting view and scaling it down by just having it selected. Now you know what the height is and that should be 150,000 and using, and using the reference to move the image to the right position. Snap to the endpoints to the endpoints of the reference planes. Then it goes much faster second time you do it. To summarize, I have used drafting views, I have exported images from Versailles, the simulation of solar radiation, and then put these images on some drafting views, scaling them, and using reference planes to have something to snap at, so I can get this kind of result. And then I can compare the different proposals as we can see here.